viewers welcome to veg to non veg kitchen in today's episode we are going to make chettinadu style konde kadalai kolambu the first step is we have to soak the chickpeas i am taking around half cup of white chickpeas using warm water i am soaking it It's been 4 hours. Now let's pressure cook this channa for one whistle. Now our pressure cooked channa is ready. Need around 7 to 8 garlic pieces. One medium sized onion finely chopped. One medium sized tomato finely chopped. Apart from that you need around 2 tablespoon of oil, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, urad dal, cumin seeds, curry leaves and for grinding you need 1 teaspoon of poppy seeds and 2 tablespoon of coconut and the spice powders are 1 teaspoon of red chili powder, 1 1/2 teaspoon of coriander powder, a pinch of asafoetida and turmeric. and salt soak a small gooseberry sized tamarind in hot water next we have to grind this uh, shredded coconut and poppy seed with a little water first i am heating a heavy bottom kadai So once the kada is heated, we can start the process. So in the meanwhile, we can crush the garlic. The kada is hot enough. Now adding the oil. Adding mustard seeds. Urad dal. And cumin seeds. Add curry leaf and the crushed garlic. Saute it for a minute. Adding onions. and cook it for 2 more minutes now adding tomatoes and cook it for 2 more minutes now adding the spice powders Now add the tamarind water. The raw flavor of the tamarind water is gone. Now we can add our boiled chickpeas. and mix it well
adding salt now let's cook the colombo for 10 more minutes i'm closing with lid it's been 15 minutes our colombo is almost done Now we can add our coconut and poppy seed paste which we have grinded earlier. Give it a mix and let it cook for 2 more minutes. Channa is perfectly cooked. It's done. Now we can switch off the flame and transfer it to a serving dish. Now our Kondakadalai Kolambu is ready to be served. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a very good day. Bye bye.